All right. So I wanted to go over um, just a minute of tutorial on the uh, Crydev boards about setting up touch bending and auto merge function inside of the 3.5 and on versions of the free SDK. Uh, the doc files and the examples on the uh, CryEngine docs are not totally up to date yet, um, but they are working on those. So basically, just wanted to touch uh, a little bit on here. Most of what you can see is, um, you know, fairly self-explanatory. But just wanted to go over a few things. Um, so I got this main node field grass merged, which is uh, the main export node that I add to the geometry export here, and that will bring everything with it. And then underneath that, I have the branches all set up here. So uh, those need to be set up, and these locators need to be snapped exactly to the vertex that you have on your branches. So for example, you got branch one uh, underscore one, branch one underscore two, branch one underscore three. And uh, branch underscore one one will be the base, which won't move. Branch one underscore two will be the middle. And branch one underscore three will be the top. So basically what it does is the engine interpolates between those and creates sort of like a rope, um, rope bone setup. So all those are parented all well to the, the main export node. But then I added those all here to the uh, export. Then you got your render mesh, which is just the actual piece here, um, and the physics proxy. And the physics proxy needs to be set up like this here. So you see it's set to no collide, um, and it's a Crytek shader. And with that, I have its name physics proxy underscore zero one. It's got one smoothing group, uh, and the material D is set to here to number two so it uses the second one in this and uh, that's pretty much about it um, so yeah I think that's it and then when you get that in game uh, the settings here the only thing you need to check when you create a new vegetation group and you pick your model is auto merged so when you select auto merged it um, automatically starts using the bone setup that you got and it uses the wind and breeze generators and any sort of wind area you want. So when you jump in a game um, you can see that it reacts to the player. Um, works pretty well. So see that here. Um, so yeah. Uh, if you guys got any questions, feel free. I post a tutorial on the Creative Boards. Feel free to jump on there and ask any questions you got uh, and look through the Max file. It is a Max 2013 file. Um, so if you guys have any issues, I may submit a 2012 version or something like that. But uh, essentially, it's pretty straightforward. The locators need to be snapped to the vertex, they need to be named correctly, uh, everything needs to be parented. Oh, and one other thing. Uh, when you export it, the merge all nodes needs to be checked. Um, that's how I got it to work. And in 3.5 plus, uh, if it's auto merged, it no longer uses any detail bending, so you don't need to have vertex colors at all. All you need to do is have this um, this locator set up, and um, they'll do that. And also, um, if you have, for example, multiple leaves, if you set up one leaf and then you duplicate that leaf, it will use the UV set to um, also duplicate the locator. So you'll need to set up one leaf and then duplicate that around, and it will also use those bones. All right, so yeah. Hopefully that was somewhat explanatory. I didn't really plan this out. I just kind of hit record and started talking. So.